Hello everyone, my name is Dimba Eme and today I'll be speaking on the topic which says listen more and talk less. And the Bible reference passage is from James chapter 1 verse 19 and 20 which says So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Now we live in a world where everyone has something to say about everything, even when we may not understand the situation at hand. Yet we are too quick to insult others, to criticize, to judge, to condemn, even without facts. And sometimes even out of anger. Now, scripture says, be swift to hear, meaning that it's very, very important for us to gather information, to grow in knowledge, to gather facts before being able to speak out. For ignorance is a very bad thing. For scripture also made it clear to us that God said that his people perish for lack of knowledge. That is ignorance working. And scripture also says to us that we should be slow to speak. Try not to be the type of person who talks too much. For in so doing, it could lead to dissipation. It could lead to, to you saying something that doesn't make any sense. To say improper things. For even the Bible made it clear to us that in the multitude of words, sin is not lacking. Let me repeat that. In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking. Now, observe people who talk too much. You will understand that they usually say things that don't make any sense and possibly judge other people wrongly and based on physical appearance and not on spirituality. Now, why do I bring about spirituality? Now, the calling of God is a personal thing between God and man. There are revelations that could come to a man and remain between that man and God without anyone else knowing about it until the time of its manifestation to the world. Now, for example, the story of Jer uh, Joseph and Mary. The story of Joseph and Mary. Now, who would ever in this world imagine that a virgin, that a woman could give birth to a child, that a woman could actually become pregnant without intimacy with a man, without having sexual intercourse with a man. Yet it happened. And scripture also made us to know that Joseph was a devout man, a God-fearing man, a man who had the fear of God in him. Now, imagine Joseph moving around, preaching to people about holiness and purity, preaching to people about the need to be pure and holy, who would listen? A man whose fiance was pregnant. Now, that is why it's very, very important for Ross to be mindful of how we give our opinions on certain issues because there are things that may be happening in the lives of others that we ourselves may not understand and we should be mindful of how we speak out because the calling of God like I said is between a man and God it's a personal thing a personal relationship with God even Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5, Judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes, who will both bring to light the hidden things of darkness 
and reveal the counsels of the hearts. Then each one's praise will come from God. However, a life or lifestyle that is pleasing to God is always evident before all, before everyone. For the infused nature of Christ in that person will be made manifest. However, also, even if we are to speak on certain issues, let the purpose be for edification, for admonition, for correction. For we understand that we all are human beings. No one is above mistakes. Using uh, the issue of Peter and Paul in Galatians chapter 2 as an example, Peter acted out of hypocrisy, which even made him to lead others astray. And Paul, right in front of everyone, corrected Peter, not to condemn him, not to write him off as a man who's no longer a man of God, but to correct him, to rebuke him, to draw him back to the truth of the gospel. Even James made it clear to us that if any among you wanders from the truth and someone draws him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. Let us be swift to hear and slow to speak. Listen more and talk less. Just as Christ would say, wisdom is justified by her children. God bless.